Okay, in this video we're going to talk about number 5 from the 2015 uh, Calc A-B exam. And it's uh, one of those problems where you're given a graph of F prime and you're asked all kinds of questions about it. Um, so the first question is uh, to find all x coordinates at which F has a relative maximum. Um, and then to give a reason for my answer. Well, I know that F will have a relative maximum if the derivative changes from positive to negative. So looking at the graph, uh, the only place that actually happens is at negative 2. So I'm just going to write out my answer. Um, f of x has relative maximum at x equals negative 2. And my reason is that f prime changes from positive to negative at x equals negative 2. Uh, that's part A, so uh, free points. Uh, let's move on to part B. Uh, so part B is a question about uh, where on the interval negative 3 to 4 is the graph of f both concave down and decreasing? So let's take it a piece at a time. So f is concave down um, when f prime is decreasing. So if I look at the graph, f prime is decreasing. I'm going to kind of highlight. So from negative 3 to negative 1, and then from 1 to 3. Uh, so those are the places where f prime is decreasing. Um, f is decreasing when f prime is less than 0. So if I highlight that, uh, that's all the way from negative 2 to 4. And, uh, well, I mean, kind of excluding 1, but... Uh, I don't really need to, I guess I should have put less than or equal, but, uh, so those are our intervals. We want intervals that include both of those. Um, so I'm going to say since f prime is decreasing and negative on the intervals from, uh, negative two to negative one, and then from one to three, uh, we can conclude that f is concave down and decreasing on those intervals. And that's part B. Uh, so part C is telling us to find the x-coordinates of the points of inflection of the graph. Uh, if you read the problem stem, it tells you that uh, f prime has horizontal tangent lines at x equals negative 1, x equals 1, x equals 3. Um, that's important for this question because I'm going to put dots on each of the relative extrema of f prime because those uh, correspond to the points of inflection of f. And so now I'm just going to write that up. So f has points of inflection at negative 1, at 1, and at 3. Um, and my reason is because uh, f prime has relative extrema at those points, which is, I, I believe, the easiest way to justify this particular answer. Um, you could also say f prime changes direction at those points, um, which is kind of implied by it being a relative extrema. Uh, either of those would be good. So let's move on to part D. Uh, Given that f of 1 equals 3, first we have to write an expression for f of x that involves an integral. So that's an, it's going to be an accumulation function. Uh, we're also told the areas of these regions. So uh, from negative 2 to 1 in the problem stem, it says that the area is 9. Um, so when we use it for the definite integral, we have to use it as negative 9 because it's below the axis. Um, from 1 to 4, the area of the region is 12. Um, and again, when we use it for a definite integral, we have to use negative 12 because it's below the axis. Um, so this is, they used to give these as geometry problems all the time, where you have to do like trapezoids and triangles and rectangles, and now they're just giving you the areas, which is kind of nice. Uh, so let's write our, our integral. So we know f of 1 is 3, so f of x is going to be 3 plus the integral from 1 to x, f prime of t dt. So I'm using a dummy variable there, um, so it's not the integral from 1 to x of f prime of x dx, that's a very confusing concept. Um, to have all those x's there, so just change, swap out the variable inside the uh, derivative to a t or to whatever, as long as it's not another variable used in the problem. So we got that, and now I have to find um, f of 4 and f of negative 2. So f of 4, 3 plus the integral from 1 to 4 of f prime of t dt, um, so that's going to be 3 plus uh, 1 to 4 is going to be negative 12, and that's going to be negative 9. So f of 4 is negative 9. And then to find f of negative 2, it's 3 plus the integral from 1 to negative 2 of f prime of t dt. I'm going to switch the bounds and change the sign. So it's 3 minus the integral from negative 2 to 1 of f prime of t dt. And fill in the value. So that's 3 minus negative 9. So f of negative 2 is 12. And that's the whole problem. So I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.